Hi, you guys. Trisha Funk, financial coach and founder of financeswithfunk.com. And I was having a conversation the other day with a really good friend of mine, and we were talking about laundry and, you know, because we are that cool, and uh, how much spray and wash we use with kids and how these kids are constantly dirty. So my girlfriend told me that she buys the stain spray from the dollar store and that it works just as good as like buying spray and wash and using spray and wash. I try to usually not buy cleaning stuff from the dollar store because in my mind things from the dollar store have a lot more just ingredients that aren't necessarily good for us. I really have no idea if that's actually true, but that's my perception. So it would have never even occurred to me to buy stain repellent from the dollar store. Well, so I've made my own stain cleaner for a while now. Um, and I don't use it just on clothes, so I didn't really think about it being like just spray and wash because I use it on carpet, I use it on upholstery, I use it on clothes and other random stuff. But it got me thinking. I wonder if the stain cleaner from the dollar store really is as good as um, maybe what I make myself at home or your commercial spray and wash. So today I'm going to show you first of all how I make my stain treater that I use on my carpet and upholstery and clothes and we're going to do a test of the laundry soap and see which one comes out on top. So here obviously you see I mustarded some random socks that I always have around the house. But for my stain remover it literally is two things. Hydrogen peroxide and basic old school blue original dawn. This also got me thinking, well, I've always used it with the old school original Dawn. I wonder if I can make the same ingredients if I can do it with ultra deluxe, totally awesome dish liquid detergent. So we're going to make it out of these two and see if there's any difference between the Dawn and the generic cheap version and if there's a difference between the dollar store spray cleaner and what we make at home. So I told you that my stain cleaner is one part Dawn, two parts hydrogen peroxide. So it looks a whole lot like two parts, two, one part. And I'm just going to add water after I spray and wash the other one. So I've got camera number one. We'll do that in the original Dawn. And hydrogen peroxide. Camera number two in the, and I didn't rinse these off yet on purpose. So I sprayed the third sock really, really well with the commercial, with the dollar store spray cleaner and I doused it pretty well and I have to say my first instinct is it stinks. It smells like 409. It smells really chemically and so I'm not crazy about that but I um, sprayed the mustard stain with it and I put it directly into just some hot water to let it kind of pre-soak. So I'm going to give these 10 minutes. We're going to inspect them at 10 minutes and then we'll wash them and see how they came out of the dryer completely. Okay, so it's been somewhere around 10 minutes. I don't follow instructions well, even if they're my own, so I really am not positive. But let's check out the progress so far. So this is the um, dollar store cleaner. 
just spray cleaner. And actually it has pulled off a lot of the mustard. It's left kind of an orange to it. I don't know, can you see that? Okay. It's a dollar store, so that's going to go in the washing machine. Then in this one I have the My Stain Cleaner that I usually um, use just with regular Dawn. This actually looks like it's left a lot more of the mustard. And I don't know if that is because of the thing that I've used, but anyway, we're going to throw it in there. And then this one is the My Recipe, but using the generic Dawn. And that's the mustard. See it? Okay. All right. So they're all going to go through the wash. Oh, I guess I'm going to Sharpie and label them so I know which one's which. Hold on. Okay, so I admit that this is the uh, worst end of the video ever because I lost one sock. The sock for the dollar store um, stain remover I lost because I didn't run the load of wash until a few days later. And I'm not quite sure what happened to it, but it has disappeared. But the sock that I used, the Blue Dawn, I can't find at all where the mustard was, so I don't know if you want to see any yellow mustard stains. So this was two parts hydrogen peroxide, one part blue dawn, and then this was the one that I just used the generic dollar store blue dish soap, and I can't find the yellow stain on this one either. So, while I have no idea how well the dollar store one worked, it, it seems pretty good before I put it in the dryer, um, but I never got it out of the dryer. So. Anyway, if you want to make your own at home and save yourself a ton of money, um, and you don't want to use the chemicals that are in the dollar store cleaners, then um, this recipe may be the perfect solution for you. Hopefully you liked this video, and if you did, I hope you share it with all your friends. Pin it on Pinterest or whatever social media that you love to use. And be sure to run over to financeswithfunk.com slash frugal living. You can sign up and get five more do-it-yourself video tutorials delivered straight to your inbox. Have a great day. Now if you like this video, be sure to run over to financeswithfunk.com and click on the Frugal Living page. There you can sign up to get five free videos just like this one delivered to your inbox over the next few weeks. I'd love for you to share the video with your friends and family, and I'll catch you next time.